uh, good morning guys <coughs> uh, this is uh, David de los Reyes my topic for this afternoon uh, it's uh, February 10 2022 <coughs> what I will be discussing uh, this afternoon is uh, the circuit uh, of the cell phone charger, uh, the one that's inside the cell phone charger. It is this one. This is cell phone charger or the ga gadget charger in which the output terminal is a USB, a United Serial Bus, something like that, right? Uh, this is a standard for cell phones, okay? I will now try to discuss what's inside. How come uh, the output current needed for our gadgets uh, is, is so desirable that uh, it actually operates uh, on the high side. Uh, on the high side meaning uh, the current is so perfect that uh, the operation is very good. Okay, How come it is very good? Okay, I will now try to bring out, it's not the secret, it's actually what's happening. Okay, it's like this. This is uh, the circuit diagram, uh, simplified circuit diagram. Uh, the other components are, are not yet here, but the basic thing for the output current to be almost a perfect direct current, is by the use of a high frequency transformer. High frequency. Uh, what's the meaning of high, high frequency? Uh, it could be a frequency that's actually one kilohertz, one kilohertz up, up to maybe megahertz. Megahertz is a million hertz. Okay, uh, one million is a uh, times ten to the six. Uh, tapos, uh, no, no. Uh, it's the kilohertz, it's actually times 1000. Because the power line frequency for utility lines is actually 60 hertz. And if we try to rectify those ones, okay, the pulsations are too big. It's not uh, consistent with digital circuits. So engineers now design high frequency transformers. I will show you what a high frequency transformer is. It is something like this. Actually, the ones inside is smaller than this. <laughs> Maybe four times smaller than this. So it could go in. How come it's so small? It's small, but it, uh, it give, uh, gives us the correct... Uh, Positions for the digital load to have a hundred percent efficiency. Uh, why do we need a small uh, high frequency transformer? Okay, it's like this. For the high frequency transformer, the primary is still uh, 120 volts. Okay, but the secondary, for the secondary to be smooth, to be smooth. Okay, the output should be in the range 5 volts, 12 volts, maybe 9 volts. So maybe for cell phones, the output is 5 volts. But what we need is that the pulsation, the alternation should be small also. Okay, so that's why the name high frequency. The secondary side, instead of uh, pulsating or alternating uh, under 60 Hz, because 60 Hz is too hurtful, hurtful for digital circuits, uh, I think uh, 1 kHz will be good enough. Higher than that, it will be smoother, okay? So one ki the frequency here on the secondary side will be smaller than 60, uh, smaller than 60 Hz. So, if you design the secondary side to have a frequency of 1 kilohertz, the alternating current going out in the secondary will be smoother. The magnitude is smaller. So at the time that we will rectify this one, okay, what will come out will be almost a perfect DC. You got what I mean? 
If the alternations are, are smaller, it's easier to rectify. That's why don't use the 60 Hz coming from the uh, utility line. You should, need it, you should need a transformer in which the secondary will have a, an alter, uh, alternation, almost a smooth also. Uh, smooth and uh, maybe the, uh, the alternations are not too big, okay? So when we rectify it, the resulting direct current will will okay it's term pulsating current but it's all almost uh, like a straight line like the direct current coming from a perfect battery from the battery okay so the main reason why we use high frequency transformer is so that the pulsations on the secondary will be smaller and when we rectify it it's almost perfect Okay, it's smooth. Oh, that's the reason why <laughs> uh, for uh, cell phone chargers, the transformer inside is not the ordinary transformer. It's the so-called high-frequency transformer. High frequency. Maybe in the range 1 kilohertz up. Okay, because the alternation, if you put the the graph of a 1 kilohertz is smoother than the 60 hertz so when you rectify it of course the the pulsating direct current will be smoother if you could reduce the magnitude of the uh, alternations okay what will come out will be almost a perfect dc okay so that's the use of a high frequency transformer inside cell phone chargers uh, even though for uh, Big screen TVs, the switch mode power supply, the transformers being used there is also high frequency transformer because there are so many voltages that are needed for a big screen TV. Maybe you need a 5 volt over there to power up the microprocessor. Maybe you need a 12 volt there to power up the audio circuit. Or maybe you need a 9 volt there okay, to power up... Uh, some other modules which require 9 volts. So actually, for big screen TVs, there are so many high frequency transformer there, okay, with different outputs to satisfy the, uh, the voltage input for every module that's inside the big screen TV. Okay, but to, to summarize it, every module, the, the schematic will be something like this. Okay, the output of the secondary for the high frequency transformer should be smooth also. So when you rectify it, okay, by using a diode and a capacitor, okay, the output current will be smooth. It's smooth. So so the digital circuit in uh, that needs uh, direct current will operate without any error because uh, if the pulsations are too big, okay. We are in trouble. Supposing you know, the airplane is uh, running with the direct current <laughs> that's not so perfect. We are in the sky. <laughs> Later on, the pulsations are too big. Okay, the, maybe the microprocessor of the airplane will pack up. Okay, and we are going down. That's it. Well, we want to eliminate that one. Okay, even for cell phones or for big screen TVs. At least uh, the pulsations of the output parent should be too smooth that it, it will not interfere with the operation of the digital circuit. Much more on the microprocessor. This 5 volt here. This 5 volt is the one powering up the microprocessors for computers. So if the pulsations of this 5 volt uh, is, uh, are not good enough, maybe the microprocessor will back up and that's it. Okay. So actually, high frequency transformers are very important in the powering up of digital circuits, okay? What we need is high frequency transformer so that the pulsations of the secondary will be smooth also. When we rectify it, it's almost perfect, okay? Uh, that's it, guys. That's the... It's not really a secret. That's what's inside this. We got a high frequency transformer in which the secondary, the pulsations are too smooth, okay? 
So when we rectify it, it's almost a perfect current. We cannot use the 60 hertz for the 60 hertz on the secondary. That's too big. Okay? It will hurt the digital circuit. So what we need is high frequency transformer. Maybe 1 kilohertz up. The frequency 1 kilohertz, if you try to see it in this oscilloscope, it's almost smooth. Okay? When you rectify it, it's almost a perfect direct current. Because you eliminate the negative alternations, what will come out is only the positive alternations. And the positive alternations, maybe if you see, try to see it on the oscilloscope, maybe the curved thing, maybe it's too hard to see it already. It's almost a perfect straight line. Okay? That's it, guys. So that's the secret of uh, the so-called uh, theory of uh, chargers for cell phones, microprocessors, okay, for big screen TVs. They are using high-frequency transformer to bring out the correct pulsations on the secondary side. High-frequency. <laughs> okay, guys. So the keyword is high-frequency transformer to bring out, okay, a pulsating direct direct current for our gadgets okay for it uh, for the operation of them to be perfect okay guys uh, good afternoon to all of you good afternoon los angeles